Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to City Hall. On behalf of the Council and staff of the City of Hamilton, it is my pleasure to officially welcome and thank the partners and sponsors for joining us for this year's Bermuda Fashion Festival. The festival had its inception in my first term as mayor back in 2010, and over the last seven years, I've only seen it grown from strength to strength. This has become an event of international standards and a much anticipated event on Bermuda's social calendar. It has helped to launch the careers not only of budding fashion designers, but also that of local models. With a busy week of events starting on October the 28th, there is surely something to appeal to every fashion enthusiast, as well as the entire Bermuda community, including our visitors. Now, an event of this complexity cannot happen if it weren't for all the partners, sponsors, and tireless team here at City of Hamilton. So to all of you, I thank you for your continued support and dedication to ensuring that the Bermuda Fashion Festival keeps entertaining each and every one of us. I encourage everyone to peruse the festival website and to come out and support our local designers as well as those who are traveling, to our, uh, who are traveling from abroad to bring to you their select collections. It is now my pleasure to introduce you to the executive producer of the Fashion Festival, Ms. Dana Lee Trott. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. 2017 is crafted to be another unique and exciting representation of fashion and style in Bermuda with the eighth annual Bermuda Fashion Festival. The City of Hamilton events team in partnership with the Jacoma Group, Shiona Torini, and our amazing local and international partners and sponsors are really excited for the schedule of events that we have in store for you. The events start on Saturday, October the 28th with an opening Masked Ball. This is a new event for us and we're really excited to be partnered with the Lauren Hotel. At this time, I'd like to introduce you to Ms. Anna Gaffney, the General Manager of Lauren. Thank you, Danny Lee. We are so excited and proud to be involved in the Bermuda Fashion Week, Fashion Festival. In New York, we call it Fashion Week. So. Um, and we were honored to have the international designers stay with us when they came to the island to mentor the local designers. Uh, the Lauren is a perfect fit, I think, for this event because we are about arts, culture, fashion. If you haven't been there, please come visit us. So we're really hoping that this is a, a long-term partnership and we're so excited. Uh, and the theme of the event is masks. So masks are mandatory and you can get the tickets on PTIX, I believe. So uh, definitely come out, come visit us, and we are so excited to be part of it. Thank you so much. We have been working very closely with the Lauren team. Chris has flown down their special events manager, and we're really excited for all the surprises that we have in store at the Masked Bowl. We open up the week of runway shows with the ever popular Evolution, which is the Maybelline Evolution retail show on Sunday, October the 29th. And we do that in partnership with the Jacoma Group. We're really excited about our ongoing partnership with Maybelline, as well as with L'Oreal, who L'Oreal is our international designer show title sponsor. And that show will happen on Wednesday, November the 1st. So at this time, I'd like to introduce you to Anna Lee Macbeth, who's here representing both L'Oreal and Maybelline. Thanks, Danny. Um, Maybelline New York and L'Oreal Paris are excited to partner with the Bermuda Fashion Festival for the third year in a row. Maybelline New York is the title sponsor for the Evolution Retail Show. This show is always fun, high energy, and it's all about fashion. L'Oreal Paris is the major sponsor for the International Designer Show, and L'Oreal is a perfect fit for this show because L'Oreal's core values are all about glam, red carpets, and celebrities. We will be flying down two international makeup artists, Jamie and Jason from Puerto Rico, and we will also, of course, be using six local makeup artists um, for the two shows. Our two international makeup artists will be involved in this year's first ever Bermuda Fashion Festival makeup tour happening at the Phoenix stores. They will be giving mini makeovers, do-it-yourself tutorials, and um, great giveaways. This event takes place from October 30th and 31st. For more information on the makeup tour, please visit our BGA Facebook um, social media pages and Instagram pages. 
We are very excited for the biggest fashion event of the year and encourage all of Bermuda to come out and support the Bermuda Fashion Festival. Thank you, Annalee. Uh, the Maybelline Evolution Retail Show features more than 15 local retailers on the island and the L'Oreal International Designer Show this year. We're very excited to announce our international designers are Evelyn Lambert, who will have the Evelyn Lambert collection, Soka by Karen DeFridis, Axel Swim, who is by Bermuda's own Alexandra Otterbridge, and we're really excited to have her represent her line on the Bermuda stage. And we'll be welcoming back Stello, who'll be debuting their tribute collection of elegant ladies' gowns that are worn by celebrities around the world. In addition, we'll have a selection of men and children's collections by Stello as well, and a special video presentation by Michael Costello. As our, as our finale runway show for the end of the week, we have the Clarion Local Designer Show on Friday, November 3rd. Unfortunately, Clarion couldn't be here with us today, but we'd really love to thank them for their ongoing support for the last few years as a title sponsor for the Local Designer Show in partnership with Shiona Torini. We have six local designers this year who will be featured. We have Michaela Perrinchief, who is doing a fuller figure line called Lunar Soul, and she's mentored by Nikki Oganaki, who's the senior fashion editor of Elle.com. We have Shanice Thompson from Nice, who is mentored by Julia Gall, the senior fashion and accessories editor at Interview Magazine. We have Carrie Butterfield and Patricia Borlin, who have Hammock Bermuda, and they were mentored by Hannah Bibb, who's the assistant fashion director at Barney's New York. Also, we have Carla Faye Hartman of Artistic Swag, who was mentored by Lifestyle Editor at BET.com, Danielle Prescott. Uh, we have two other designers, Monique Stevens, who has art... I'm sorry. We have Monique Stevens, Aishan S., who is um, joining us today, and James Lee, who has Exotique who was mentored by Ronald Burton, and he is a member of the Document Journal team. So we have a very, very strong team of local designers. Only one has actually participated in the Bermuda Local Designer Program before. So it's a fresh bunch of designers, and we really encourage everyone to come out and support our local designers. This Bermuda Fashion Week from October 28th to November the 4th will end with the Bermuda Fashion Expo, which is a new event which has grown from our local trunk show. It will be held at Elbow Beach Hotel on Saturday, November the 4th. And we're really excited to have more than 20 local designers that will feature both fashion and jewelry at this event. You'll be able to meet the designers, view their inspirations, and shop their collections. Uh, we'll be having a special presentation by Michael Costello at this event, and we encourage you all to come and have the opportunity to meet him, as well as uh, watch him as he talks to our local Bermudian designers. So that's basically the lineup for this year's Bermuda Fashion Festival 2017. We're really excited. We do have a call out for volunteers. Um, if you are interested, you can email us at events at cityhall.bm. But we'd like to thank all of our sponsors and partners, those that were able to join us today, um, and those that weren't, uh, the Jacoma Group, One Communications, Clarion Bank, I Hope Global, Great Sound, Evian, and JetBlue Airlines. Um, in addition, of course, the City of Hamilton, who allows us every year to completely produce this event from start to finish to host it as the major sponsor for the event. And I thank the mayor for his ongoing support of the event. Um, I would like to mention that JetBlue is doing a special uh, travel passport that will be available, I'm sorry, if you purchase tickets through ptix.bm for the Bermuda Fashion Festival 2017, you will be eligible to be entered into a draw that will win tickets from JetBlue Travel. Uh, at this time, we'd like to say a big thank you to all of our models that have committed to the fashion show rehearsals, all of our retails, retailers and salons, and our international partners and local team members. Of course, my City Hall events team, thank you very much. We're really excited about the growth of the Fashion Festival. In our eighth year now, everything continually changes and continually evolves as the 
I guess the, the spark of the event has always been the Evolution Fashion Show and we continue to evolve every year. This year obviously is our first year having a fall fashion show. We're typically a July event, which happens in the heat of the summer, which we love because of course the weather is magnificent. But uh, we were excited to move it to the fall for something a little different. You have fall fashion as opposed to summer, and we're really excited about that change. We'll be under the mega tent on Front Street, which has been erected, and we're really happy with that venue, and all the runway shows will be there. Um, we do offer passports to fashion. You can have a runway experience, getting you into all fashion shows, or you can do the VIP experience and really enjoy everything from a VIP perspective and just be treated to a very special experience. At this time, I'm very excited to introduce to you one of our local designers for this year. Um, a new designer that's joined us and has gone through the four-month mentorship program is Miss Monique Stevens, and I'll let her tell you about her brand and also her mentor. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Monique Stevens, and my brand is Ishan S. Um, this year, I'm very excited to be a part of the um, fashion festival, um, especially being in the term of fall. Um, that's something that's exciting to me because I love to layer clothes. So um, as far as my collection goes, um, I have picked um, skin tones um, as well as full colors, which is yellows, um, oranges, and, and such like that. Um, yeah. My mentor's name is Nicole and she is um, a fashion director of Allure magazine. She has helped me tremendously, um, mainly staying on task with my collection, um, my time restraints, um, as well as the overall look of my pieces. Um, she has helped me to edit some of my looks. Um, overall, to be able to have someone to assist me with my pieces um, was just helpful in itself. So I am very thankful for the program where that's concerned. Thank you, Monique. Also this year in our local designer lineup, we have Mr. James Lee, who is actually a returning designer. Um, he was in the local designer program last year, and he is celebrating his fifth anniversary this year as a local designer. So I'll let you tell about your brand and who your mentor was. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, as Danny has said, I'm James. Uh, my brand is Exotique. Um, it comes from the French word exotic. And um, I started my brand with bottle caps back in 2012. So this year I'm doing sporty formal wear. So that should be something different and unique and fun. Um, it's called Threads of Fate. Um, it's got a lot of black and gold. So look forward to like New Year's Eve outfits and like black and gold ball outfits. Um, my mentor is Ronald Burton. He's actually just changed his job position and he's moved country. So he's jumped from New York all the way over to Germany. So presently, I'm not 100% sure as to his new job position. Um, is there anything else? No? All right. Thank you. <laughs> It has been extremely challenging, but I would say my overall passion for fashion has overpowered that, I guess. Um, I like to put things together and see them in perspective. So the overall of seeing my pieces on an international stage is very exciting to me. I didn't ever think that it would come to this, but it's been a challenge um, as well as being a full-time mother. Yeah. My design, I'm still actually figuring it out. I think of things, so I'm inspired by life overall, um, how different fabrics might come together. Um, so to say what is my actual inspiration, I would say myself. I love very um, colorful pieces, but this time, because it's full, I am bringing more subtle colors together. So that's a change for me. Um, 
I, I just look forward to, you know, what my collection looks like. All right, so um, like I said in the initial beginning, I started off with bottle caps, so beer tops. Um, it was unconventional. Everybody seemed to like it. It went off really well. It got featured in an online magazine, and from there, I kind of went into stretch fabrics, so your everyday swimwear, and I was just like, you know, graduating from that into resort wear. I got featured in two shows, one in Toronto and one in Montreal, where I took that branding from the basic swimwear into resort. It had great feedback in terms of color, theme, using Bermuda as inspiration from the sand to like the oceans and our history. Um, so this is basically that leap from the resort wear into your kind of fall ready to wear. Um, I'm also doing things that I wouldn't typically do using non-stretch fabric. So I have to find ways to make it work and fit to the body and stay on. So, whereas before it was just links and chains and stretch fabrics. Um, I would hope that it'll travel um, more stateside, so like Florida and New York. So I'm hoping to graduate from Canada and go down to the States. Um, I would hope to make the brand international at some point. Right now, I think staying on the uh, Western Hemisphere is doing a good job um, in terms of somewhere, especially because you've got the islands and Florida and California. So I think those are good places to start. Um, so making connections is probably my biggest thing that I need to do right now. Limitations would be definitely the connections. Um, it's kind of hard to make international connections here in Bermuda, especially with other international designers, international models. Um, finding fabrics is another big thing. Um, we're very limited here as to fabrics and what materials we can use um, and find. So being resourceful here is one thing, but the Fashion Festival has definitely brought in the international guests. We've been able to make connections and um, those connections actually have helped a great deal. Some of them have provided us with supplies that we would never have had, such as a mannequin. I never had a mannequin to begin with. One of the international um, connections provided me with one of those. Also, they provide you with where to pick up stuff, um, where you can go to get stuff manufactured and stuff like that. So it definitely helps. It kind of puts you on ease. And even the mentors help you greatly staying focused, whereas Bermudians were always we want everything, we want to do everything. So mentors kind of keep you focused because being on an international level, they have to stay focused. They can't be all over the place. So it definitely helps on that level. <laughs>